Rising rather early on June 24th, we drove about 25 miles northeast of Georgia Jakarta to Borobudur, the world's largest Buddhist temple built in the 9th century. The monument consists of six square platforms topped by three circular platforms and a central circular dome and is decorated with 2,500 relief panels and 504 statues of the Buddha. Depending on the temple level and the direction they are facing, each of the Buddhas in the temple was constructed with one of six different hand positions. The main dome, located at the center of the top platform, is surrounded by 72 Buddha statues, each of which is seated inside a perforated stupa. The temple was designed in Javanese Buddhist architecture, which blends the Indonesian indigenous cult of ancestor worship and the Buddhist concept of attaining nirvana. The monument is both a shrine to the Lord Buddha and a place for Buddhist pilgrimage. The journey for pilgrims begins at the base of the monument and follows a path around the monument, ascending to the top through three levels symbolic of Buddhist cosmology, the world of desire, the world of forms, and the world of formlessness. The monument guides pilgrims through an extensive system of stairways and corridors, with 1,460 narrative relief panels on the walls and the balustrades. The temple is still used for pilgrimage. Each spring, Buddhists in Indonesia celebrate the Buddha's birth at the monument. Borobudur is Indonesia's single most visited tourist attraction. Although we did not stop for a visit, Pawan Temple is the second of three Buddhist temples lying in a straight line outside Yogyakarta. It sits midway between Borobudur and Memdut. There is a mutual religious relationship between the three temples, but the exact ritual process is unknown now. Mimdut Temple is the third of the three temples, and it is the oldest, although all were built during the 9th century. Mimdut is noted for a statue of the Buddha seated in a chair. This statue was meant to liberate the devotees from the bodily karma. The two adjacent statues represent liberation from the karma of speech, and liberation from the karma of thought. The adjacent Mindut Buddhist monastery is very modern and has some beautiful statues, among which is one of a reclining Buddha.
Although not included in the trip itinerary, four of us from our group arranged to attend a Javanese dinner theater production of the Hindu romantic saga Ramayana. The dinner was enjoyable and the ballet was beautiful to look at, but it was very slow and very, very long. I, uh...